pretty good players right now. Uh, Sayonara and Super Shocky. Su Super Shocky, I'm uh, just know. kidding. Just a chair. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's Sayonara. <laughs> Super Shocky, I know uh, as uh, the uh, champion of uh, Tetris Effect Connected. Nice. Which okay. I know there's uh, a bit of overlap in terms of m m modern Tetris and Puyo Puyo, but. Yeah, they're both uh, official uh, tuning limited games, and um, you know if you're good at one of them, you're probably going to be good at the other one as well. They're just a uh, you know a few details that are different in each game, and of course there's a zone mechanic that doesn't exist in this game, so gotcha. it's going to be a lot more about like how well you stack, how fast you can place your pieces. So uh, does Puyo Puyo Tetris, uh, te you know? Uh both for the uh, my my benefit and the benefit of chat who may be less familiar, uh, does Puyo Puyo involve a seven bag rotation or similar? Yes, it uses all the uh, guideline mechanics that you might be familiar with, like seven bag, uh, piece the piece spawning. Um, well, the color the colors are also a, a official guideline, part of the official guideline, um, exactly. as well as like the rotation system. Sayonara takes the first game. What is this first to? This is first to five. Yeah, while we were explaining that, um, Sayonara went and took the first game. So... Yeah, right now, uh, Super Shocky is looking to make something out of his board. It's a little messy right now. Sayonara also just had a bit of a mishap and is trying to fix that up. Meanwhile, Shocky is cleaned up and is able to use his opponent's garbage to send some good damage along with that T-spin he set up. So, uh, Sh Shocky very experienced with setting up T-spins from Ooh. his uh, other modern game experiences. Yeah. Uh, so, generally, his the way you play uh, TEC as well as PPT is not going to be too vastly different because, you know, the way you attack and the way you win are pretty much the same, right? You know, you're going to top by your opponent by sending them attacks with Tetris and T-spins generally, or combos. Combos in this game are a lot stronger than in TEC because... Um, Sega doesn't really care about us <laughs> in that regard. <laughs> so, you, so you optimize more for combos in this game, whereas uh, I believe the, the technically most efficient uh, garbage method in, in connected and zone is the T-spin double. Well, right. there are a lot of intricacies to zone, so it's not necessarily fair to say that that's the best way to like operate in the zone, but... Gotcha. You know, like, in a vacuum, like, T-spin the Tetrises are gonna be, like, the optimal way to attack. You know, because setting up a big combo is not necessarily, like, a simple thing. You can't that's just true. do it all the time, and... It's not easy to make it consistent, especially in this game where you can't go as fast and like build up your combo count, right? The, the, but the reliability with which I'm seeing T-spins come out of Super Shocky's play field is just... It, I, I mean, I've tried to learn yeah, setting up T-spins. a bit, you know, you just gotta learn how to stack a bit differently and Sayonara and Super Shocky are both very good at uh, they're both very adept at setting up T-spins like that, yeah. And that's an example of, like, a combo that just really, like, ends the game because... You know, at a certain point, a combo it does become, like, the most, like, efficient, piece efficient attack. Mm -hmm. But it does also, it takes a while to build up and it's not gonna happen all the time, right? Yeah, it, it, it's less... It, it's harder to have control over stacking yes. four combos. As, as I'm as I'm observing, yeah. Sayonara down stacking right now. Super Shocky continuing his LST. LST. Yeah, that's that's the name of the the pattern that he was doing, where you make like T spin setups in like the two columns away from the side, Got and it. then um no sorry three columns away, and then you alternate uh, stacking the left side with L pieces and S pieces, which is why it's called LST. Got it. Uh, and again, no, nothing like this is possible if you were just watching Classic, because you just cannot predict. Yeah, you can't predict the pieces that you're gonna get. Yeah. So but when you when you can know something about 
your, your likelihood of pieces coming. Uh, you can do things like strategies with that level of depth. Yeah, and because of the bag system, you're, you're, the pieces you get are a lot more predictable, which allows for those kinds of like stacking patterns. Alright, so Sayonara managed to dig down pretty well. But Shocky is still pretty high up. Oh, and he missed off his eyepiece, which is really bad since that's a, yeah, that's he's a, not able to downstack his whole... And the uh, Sayonara sealed it with a double attack of his own. Alright, so... 2-2. Two, two. Alright, so one feature that um, PPT has that most modern guideline games don't have is that once... So you know how you receive an attack, you see those boxes on the top, right? Mm -hmm. So the Sayonara was had one garbage line queue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So once you send an attack of your own, then all the remaining garbage gets sent to your board. Unlike in like TEC and some other modern, most other modern games actually, where you don't receive garbage until you stop clearing lines. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can easily get overwhelmed by a surprise like big attack if you're not ready if you're like your board is too high, you can like get punished and like die, even though you have like a potential combo and like available ready to do. And that's like one of the that's also one of the reasons why combos are not as easy to pull off in PvP. Uh, yeah, Shell yeah. the Scrub in chat. Uh, crazy the genuine competition this local has. Well, uh, yeah, that it's true. We have. Uh, Super Shocky, uh, Connected Champion, uh, Hydrant, one-time uh, Classic Record Holder, Opox, Top uh, top 16, CTWC, uh, Sayonara, I don't know. I, he's, I, he, was in a, he was in a square one, so... Excellent, yeah. You know, which is like, probably like the premier uh, TEC um, tournament, right? So, mm -hmm. he's obviously not a slouch at... He, well, he won. He won um, the Tetris Effect Connected bracket the last mm. time he was here, and you know, yeah, we're looking. We, I'm looking forward to seeing what he does uh, in that game as well. An, an embarrassment time. of riches in terms of the great competitors. Yeah, no, this is like one of the great things about this game. You know, it's it's like it's a game that everyone plays. So like, you never know who's like, ah. if there's like some like hidden master somewhere, like. In the middle of nowhere, right? Absolutely. Because, like, no. you know, anyone could just pick up this game and like start stacking blocks. I mean, it happens less often now that you know we have the level of social media and interconnectedness that oh, yeah. we have. But uh, no, anybody could. The, the next champion could come from anywhere. It could even yeah. be you, viewers watching. And I thought you were talking about me out there. I'm not winning. But I mean, I'm here because I got eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I meant you, the viewer. But it, <laughs> hey, it could be you eventually. <laughs> Yeah, let me just take out a few people here and there, you know. <laughs> All right. So uh, Shell, oh, Shell did commentary on the tournament uh, tournament where uh, Sayonara qualified for Square One. Yes. Gotcha. Well, yeah, good to meet. Uh, good to meet. yeah, he was like, I mean, he's not, he, he, he's he's pretty good at TEC. I I just didn't remember the exact like nature of like what he did. All right. Anyway, while we were talking about that, Shocky had a really nice um stack. Where to win like the previous round where he he was able to maintain his back-to-back uh, -back and well that's an unfortunate set of missed drops and Sayonara takes it these games just go so insanely fast yeah it's like blink and you'll miss it uh -huh. especially with like openers that people can do they didn't really do it because TC is not really like an opener game but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like the meta opener right now for PPT is called like is like the triple double PC where basically you do a T-spin triple into a T-spin double mm -hmm. and then you can get a perfect clear at 14 lines. Wow. Yeah, so I, it's, it's like possible. It's like not 100%, but it's like very, it's got very high odds. It's very easy to memorize and like it's a very, it punishes extremely well because like, you know, you misdrop your opener and then like all of a sudden you get sent like 20 lines and then it's over, right? 